Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday technical training. Let's get started. This video is the second part of our overview on viral safety in the manufacture of biotherapeutics, specifically antibodies or proteins produced from mammalian cell culture processes. We recommend you watch part one before proceeding. It can be found here. The starting point of any viral safety strategy is to consider all potential sources of virus contamination. The regulatory agencies worldwide are concerned about endogenous viruses that may be in the production cell line and any potential contaminating virus. Viruses can be introduced with nearly every raw material or piece of equipment, including packaging materials. A full risk assessment and risk mitigation plan of the entire supply chain is paramount to ensure successful manufacturing. There are many classes of viruses and the regulatory agencies will expect before licensure that companies have evaluated the various classes which include both large and small, DNA and RNA genome, and enveloped and non-enveloped virus types. A variety of analytical tools and cell-based methodologies are utilized to detect contaminating viruses. However, due to large lot sizes of raw materials and thus sampling issues, the constraints in detection limits and the assay's ability to find extremely low levels of contaminating virus, these testing methods alone are not sufficient. Another testing option is to incorporate next-generation high-throughput nucleic acid amplification and sequencing technologies to search for contaminating virus. But this too has its challenges due to sampling issues and the complex nature of the analysis. Because of the limitations of virus detection in the raw materials, manufacturers must demonstrate and validate that the process used to purify the product can remove or inactivate a wide range of contaminating viruses. This program is called Viral Clearance Validation. We will be going more in-depth on viral clearance validation programs in future Two Minute Tuesday videos. One potential risk mitigation strategy is to expose raw materials, specifically the cell culture media, to a high temperature, short time treatment. This is demonstrated to be an effective viral inactivation process. However, the presence of temperature sensitive proteins or other components in the media may make this process challenging to implement and thus may require extensive development and testing before utilization. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.